Okay, we have another question back here. Uh, this is for OPPD. You mentioned that you um, took the fuel out of the reactor. As I understand, you had a belt break on the low lifter thing, and that the fuel isn't completely out of the reactor. And I'm just wondering why that wasn't included in your presentation as up-to-date information for us to know about, that you are still having breakdowns, the nuclear plant is a bucket of bolts, it's 40 years old, I'm 50, no matter how many parts you're replacing me, I'm going to get older. So, I'm just asking that question. I uh, stayed through the process of all the floor. There are 10 assemblies in the uh, reactor, which is a safe place for them. There are 123 uh, fuel assemblies in the spent fuel floor, which is a safe place for them. The upender uh, sat Sunday morning. We had an issue with the upender. We stopped moving any fuel. No fuel was in that upender at the time. We put that fuel in safe condition back in the ramp core, and we were going to fix that upender prior to doing anything else. We got another cylinder, a redundant cylinder on that um, upender that potentially you could consider um, moving fuel in that, but we are not going to do that. We're just going to follow basic principles, we consider safety, human performance, and we're going to fix our plan. We will not move any fuel until that up and is fixed. Well, so why was it not included in your presentation today? I could have put it in there. Um, I had no reason not to put it in there. This covered certain items, sir. 